Well, you should choose the poem since you knew Susan best at the time of her unfortunate <clears throat> accident. He cleared his throat? Yes. So? He did it right as he said, her unfortunate accident. Not getting it. Jerry, a throat clear is a non-verbal implication of doubt. He thinks I killed Susan. You really think I'm wrong about this wick guy? You know, if you really want to test him out, why don't you try the old Jerry Lewis trick? Jerry Lewis? I heard when Jerry Lewis left a meeting, he'd purposely leave a briefcase with a tape recorder in it. Then after five minutes, he'd come back for it, listen to what everyone said about him. That's pretty paranoid. Yes, it is. I like it. I thought you might. I uh, should have a poem very soon now. Are you okay, George? No, no, not really. Ever since Susan passed on, I have good days and bad. Some days I am haunted by one word. Why? Why, Susan? Why wasn't it me clicking those invitations? Why am I still here? Well, I gotta run. Uh, <laughs> Let me tell you something. That Jerry Lewis, you wonder how some of these people get to the top? It's ideas like this. Brilliant! Ah! <laughs> Look at this. What the hell happened? The, the whole side is damaged here, and the lock is broken. How long did you leave it up there? Five minutes. What the hell happened here? Play the tape. Maybe we'll get a clue. I have to rewind it first. Is that it? It stopped dead. What do you make of it? I don't know. <coughs> this is a crude mock-up of the conference room. <laughs> One fourteenth scale. When did you build this thing? Yesterday, took the day off. <laughs> now, from the time that I left the room. Wait, that's you? Yeah. I think the M&M should be you. Right, whatever. <laughs> now, whatever caused the damage was jarring enough to completely stop the tape. And? Okay. That's what we know. <laughs> but we already knew that. Well, yeah. Just give me some idea what you think it could be. I don't know if you're ready for it. Please. <laughs> I believe that I'm about to become the target of a systematic process of intimidation and manipulation, the likes of hold which it, you... Hold it, you're right. I, I'm not ready for this. There are some people in this room who would have been very happy to never see this briefcase again. <laughs> there are people in this room who think they can destroy other people's property and get away with it. Well, let me tell you something about those people. They weren't counting on this brain. <laughs> and this tape recorder. George, you'll have your turn. <laughs> the truth must be heard. Hey, what are you doing? Dear God. That's all there was. And yet, it speaks volumes. <laughs> A low rumple. Metallic swing. A galong. Someone crying out, Dear God! <laughs> Let's start with, uh, with you, Wick. George, Quinn here was moving a chair. He lost his balance and dropped it. Must have fallen on your briefcase, which for some reason contained a running tape recorder. <laughs> All right, then. 
We've gotten to the bottom of that.